this sheep's been he's been giving me some dirty looks. I've gotten I've gotten a takeout mission. We got one shot. Okay, here we go. Is he down? Oh, we took him out. We're oh my gosh, we're just gonna extinguish, ex exterminate the sheep's. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, sheepies. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing right now? But hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Warism. Finally, finally we are back on the server. How you doing there, cow? Oh, that was that was the aim button. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I have to demonstrate these weapons, by the way. I'm not this is not animal cruelty. There we go. Look how cool that was. Oh my god, the models. Oh my gosh, dude. These were in like MW3. Okay, well. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Minecraft Warzone. I am so excited to finally be back here, back on the mod pack. So I'm going to be briefly explaining what Minecraft Warzone actually is and sort of showing you guys the new guns and stuff that's added. Um, so if you guys haven't already, while well, I beat this pig with a bat in the background, <laughs> gosh, I really need target dummies here, dude. This is not a good way to start Minecraft Warzone, is it? Okay, um, but is this bat do damage? Do I have to get closer to you? Oh boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, but, uh, Minecraft Warism, the way it works, basically there are two teams and we're just going to be having a war together. So this is, obviously it's run on a mod pack. Um, if you guys want to check out the mod pack, there's actually going to be a download link down in the description. Oh, would you look at that? Look how slow I'm moving with that rocket out. Um, but there's a download link in the description. You can go and download the Wars of Mod Pack. We actually made a different one than the first season. Um, that sheep just went flying into the air. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I have missed guns in Minecraft. I have missed guns in Minecraft. If you guys haven't seen the um, original Wars of series, by the way, I'm gonna put a link down in the description to the playlist. Go back and watch it, it was so fun. So basically, the way Warzone works is there are two teams, um, Team Red and Blue, I guess, that's what we're gonna be going with this year. And basically, we just have to get prepared for battle. So we're gonna be um, collecting different tanks, building an army, coming up with a base that we wanna sort of defend and protect, and try to, you know, scout out and attack the enemy team and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And hopefully this year it'll end with a giant all-out war where we just destroy the world and everything. Um, but we're just starting out right now, so uh, the mod pack is actually pretty simple. We do have smart moving in it this year. I believe we can. I believe you can crawl and do different craziness and like there's weird jumping like this. And in creative mode you go flying, which is pretty cool. And you can also like climb trees. I'm pretty sure. Let me see how this this works. Can we climb trees? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. So you can actually climb up stuff now, which is which is pretty groovy smoothie. Okay, should we, um, what do we have here? What other weapons do we have? We obviously got this, this awesome looking sniper rifle. We're just no scoping, no scoping sheep out here for days. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be a fun episode if we went ahead and looked at all of the, um, all the different mods in the pack. Alrighty, so I kind of mentioned this earlier, but we've actually not added too many crazy mods. Um, in Warism yet. We're gonna start out nice and simple, you know, where we can get the basics down and then, oh look at that, can we, oh no, that's because we're in creative mode. Oh no, get out of there. Okay. Um, but then, as we sort of, you know, get used to just the, uh, the basic Flans mod weapons, and dude, Flans mod has been updating like crazy. Like, the last time I used this thing, it didn't have any of this craziness. Like, like, oh my gosh, there are tanks. There are tanks now. I believe there was a tank before, but it was just like a little box. Yeah, we got actual tanks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I really want to figure out how to fly a plane this episode because something that tends to happen every season so far, I build a plane and I just crash it over and over again. So we're going to be going through some flying lessons today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yeah, there's just so much more that's been updated on this mod pack. There's like, oh my gosh, what are these? What? Oh my god, can we get in? No, no way. What ammo does this thing take? All right, there we go. So the thing about vehicles in Flans Mod is um, you pretty much get this like, nice little inventory for every vehicle you make and they take a certain amount of fuel. So we got our little fuel can here. It pretty much used up exactly one fuel. So that's that's new. And then we can put our shells in here. So is this where we put, oh my gosh. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Can we shoot this bat down? <laughs> this bat doesn't know what's coming at it. Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared to shoot this close at me. Okay, um, so let's let's see here. So you can repair it. I'm, I'm not sure how the repairing works. Are there sort of, I'm guessing there would be like a repair tool of some sorts. I don't know. I would, I would never, oh yeah, look at this, a blowtorch. 
Okay, so maybe you can actually repair it up. All right, we're gonna try to hit this bat. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was cool. Okay, let's hit something. Let's actually hit this mountain over there. There we go, how much damage? Oh, a little, little explosion. I don't know if we can actually hit this bat up here. Bat, bat, stop moving. It doesn't really have rapid fire, but oh my gosh, look at me. I am just taking out that mountain over there. Okay, okay, I want to go see what, what the damage happened. Oh man. Oh man, that wasn't even a really big missile. That, those were just like little anti-aircraft McJiggers. I wonder if those can actually, you know, lock onto planes. That would be something fun to test out. So this year, there's a lot of guns. We added in the, uh, the Flans mod, but there are a lot of different Flans mod expansion packs in it. And we actually went ahead, we added a whole bunch of different expansions packs. We got, um, obviously the modern weapons and, you know, the basics. Then we added in these Titans. You can build a Titan somehow. Um, those seem to be a little glitchy right now and actually crash your world, so I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to look into those in the future. Where was I at? I, I was at like, yeah, look, we got freaking incinerary grenades. We added in this thing that I just want to test out. Molotovs, dude! We added in a, um, I believe it was a zombie pack, so it adds in like all these crazy, like look at this, lump of zombie flesh. Oh my gosh, creative mode is so cool with this, um, this new smart moving mod. Look at me, I'm just like, I'm levitating. I'm, <laughs> I'm using the force right now. And you can like, you can fly like Superman. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then, um, here, let's, let me show you guys when I, when you like fall from a really high distance, your guy just freaks out like he's actually falling. Oh my gosh, that just, it's gonna look so cool in multiplayer when you can like, do that with your with your friends and watch them running around the place um, but I got I got Tim here and Tim's gonna help me test out some of these new grenades because what in the world is a creeper explosion oh it's a creeper explosion well I have no idea what that is um, but I have heard of these bear traps before now I'm not a hundred percent if they actually work oh hi did I walk on that can I push Tim onto one okay so they're sort of just like mimes they do a lot of damage though. Okay, well we're already down two Tims. Huh, for some reason these grenades aren't really working. We'll, we'll throw a Molotov at them though. This looks like a pretty... Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, could you... Those things look so cool! Look at that! Oh my gosh, you're just like throwing fire all over the place. Okay, and then these are just basic little grenades. Are they just gonna... Oh, poor Tim right now. Oh my... Those grenades are huge! Oh my gosh. Was that? That was like one grenade. Oh, I hit him with it. Where's it going? Oh my gosh, these little grenades. Um, and then these are stick grenades. Oh, dude, the animations look so cool. Oh my gosh, I I guess they do they really deal any different amount of damage, or they're all just different, just shapes and sizes. Yeah, it's looking like they're all sort of the same sort of type of grenade. They just look a little different, which is cool. You know, it's fun to have variety. And that actually comes from the different weapon boxes. So the way Flansmon actually works, oh my gosh, anti-zombies weapon box. Um, you craft these different weapon boxes, and then that's what allows you to make the different types of weapons here. Dude, a gold desert eagle, a minigun, a riot shield, like, oh my gosh. We're going to have like the biggest arsenal. Look how cool I look right now. So the way this Warzone thing is going to be starting out is we're actually going to all be on the same team at the start. And then this way, you know, we can sort of be friendly with each other and get all of our certain required materials and stuff like that. And then once we have all of our stuff ready, uh, we can move on in, into little our own separate teams. And this way we could actually fight each other and start, you know, preparing for battles and stuff like that. Now we're planning on having some giant battle in the end, but hopefully there will obviously be scrimmages leading up to that. Um, look at that spider. Why are you a why are you a X spider? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. We have um the special weapons or no the special mobs mod. Okay, so I said it's a night time and hopefully we'll get some of them spawning in here. But I want to show you guys the special mobs mod. Now this thing's pretty cool. We actually had it in our crewcraft pack, and what it does is it spawns in crazy hard to beat mobs with like crazy abilities look at these guys they got like this one i believe um what are you you're a flying spider so like he can fly we got skeletons wearing what are you wearing what are you wearing buddy is he a little is that a little hat is that a little flans mod hat oh my gosh look at him he's like a little 
little commander skeleton. But yeah, it just pretty much adds in really hard to beat enemies that are super annoying. We got, you know, creepers that blow up into water and creepers that blow up into giant balls. What is that tank doing? The tank's humping a sheep over there. Ignore that. Look at this little gray spider over here. It pretty much just adds in different looking mobs and invisible spiders and four faced creepers. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, this guy splits up into like a bunch of little creepers. Oh, look, there's there's an ender creeper. There's an ender creeper. All right, we're gonna have to get out. Okay, we're getting out the big guns here. Oh man, I like it's such a big gun, but such a small bullet. Sorry, Mr. Ender Creeper. Take that. Take that. How much damage did that? Oh no, it just launched him over there. Okay, well, maybe it doesn't deal that much damage. Um, it's also, it could be because the mobs are so freaking strong and have so much health, or because they're an Ender Creeper. And he just teleports away before he takes damage. That's also another problem. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, this is going to... Sorry, skeleton. Before we get started playing around with the different vehicles that are in the game, I'm just going to quickly go through all the different mods that we have in here. So, um, there's a bunch of mods. You know, we've got like not enough items, the map, improve your FPS and stuff like that. Uh, then we have the iron chest mod that adds in um, the iron chest for better storage and bigger chest sizes and stuff like that. Obviously, we got Flans mod, we got the Back Tools mod, so that way, if you have yourself a little sword and a pickaxe, it will actually show that on your back when you're not holding it, which is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at me with my sword. Oh, look how cool I look. Oh my god, I'm about to, I'm about to just charge in here and hold my sword the wrong way for some reason. I don't know why this is... Does it just look like that because I'm, I'm flying or... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, look at me leaping around. What do you have on your head? Is that a beehive on your head? Oh my gosh. Is that is, is that a Flans mod hat? What in the world is that? And then we also have the backpacks mod, and that just makes, you know, traveling and living life a little bit easier. Now, we are going to be keeping on keep inventory throughout the mod pack, and that way, just for our battles and certain stuff like that, um, we'll actually be able to, you know, keep our certain guns that we make and your teammates can't just, or your enemies can't just kill you and steal everything you have. Well, all these things are saying that they give you smoke protection, but I don't know where you get smoke from, huh? I don't know, I don't know, but there are a lot of different, a lot of different helmets, look at this. What are you, a bulldozer helmet? Joggernog helmet? Okay, well, we're about to see how goofy we look with our night vision on. Oh boy, oh boy, it's not really, is it not working out now? Oh no. Oh no, it's a little bit glitchy. Okay, well, we'll ignore that. Look how fast I'm swimming. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm not too crazy about those uh, those night vision goggles. Let's try on the bulldoze helmet. What does this guy do? Um, okay, this one's sort of working. Not really. I, I don't know why it's doing this. I think it's doing that because of the smart moving mod, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just won't wear hats because we look a little bit goofy. I have a beehive on my head for some reason. Oh my gosh, they added a flamethrower. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, not a flamethrower, a flamethrower. No way. No way. Does it go on my back like it's, oh, it's supposed to. Oh no, we might have to take out the smart moving mod or find out a way how to get it working a little bit better. Because just the models aren't, they aren't colliding with each other very well. But I'm going to light a fire zombie on fire. Oh. Oh, maybe just the flamethrower isn't working. Oh no, there it goes. There we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is super loud. That was having, that was like, <laughs> that was like having an unlimited amount of Molotovs. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Well, some of this armor looks super sweet. Um, I'm thinking this is how we're going to have to choose our teams. Uh, you know, we'll just have maybe a bulldozer team versus the American World War II team. Those seem sort of balanced-ish. Oh, look at these little, there's a shop, what, a shopkeeper's apron? Dude, dude, how, oh my god, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, if it would only fit with my guy. Well guys, it is time, it is time I begin my pilot training, and I thought, you know, what, what better way to start than, than to have a jet? So we're gonna, we're gonna try this, we're gonna try a jet. Okay, here we go, we're taking off, this seems like Oh no, did I not place it? Is it not placing down? There we go. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, this, this is hopefully enough runway space. I think this is just a solo plane, so I shouldn't get in the, the wrong seat, right? 
All right, I'm gonna load up the fuel here. I think we should be good to go. Oh my gosh, is this thing taking that much fuel? It's, I haven't even, oh my gosh, this thing's gonna take so much fuel. Okay, well, I guess that's good for, you know, long trips and stuff like that. Um, so we got a napalm in here, a small bomb. Can it accept this? Oh, it can, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Well, I'm not really sure on how this whole control thing works, but we're just gonna try to take off, hopefully, here, maybe. I don't know. Oh boy, oh no. Oh, we're heading off, okay. And we're off. Look how fast we're going. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, are we going fast? Can I slow down, like, the engines a little bit? I... Oh my gosh, I'm really scared. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Too slow! Too slow, too slow, too slow! Too slow! Take off! Take off! There we go. And we're flying upside down. I look like an upside down pancake right now. Um, <laughs> well, there we go. I want to figure out... How do we drop a bomb V? Okay, so this is either going to be the small bomb or a napalm bomb. So, okay, we need to find a good location. Let's try to find a nice open field below us. We're traveling way too fast, dude. Um, it's it's controlled right now by my, my mouse and I'm moving it around and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not too sure how much I like it. Can we fire a bomb upside down? Will it just like land on top of me? Okay, here we go. Well, this thing, it says it takes missiles. It doesn't actually take bombs, so... Oh, no. Okay, okay, trees. Get off, get off of the trees. Get off of the trees. I'm still not sure how in the world does speeding up and slowing down work. Okay, up. Oh, that's slowing down. Up. Oh, we don't want to do that anymore. Um, is this a nice constant speed we're at right now? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, I figured it out. All right, well, we're, we're learning a little bit more here. So I figured out how to put my landing gear up and down, which is pretty cool. I wonder if that actually helps me land at all. We might have to try to go for a landing here. Um, but I'm just going to try to load in all the missiles that I can because it seems to be accepting everything I give it. But I'm just not too sure how to get it to actually fire these missiles, which is a little bit of a shame. However, I do know what works, and that is the bomber. So... I'm gonna attempt to land this thing in the field, so we need our, we'll put our landing gear down. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to go, we're gonna go to the right here, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna be ready to circle back. All right, look at me, I am a professional pilot, man. All right, I think we're ready, we're ready to surface here. So we're going to try to slow down, maybe don't, not, don't cut the engines yet. Oh, and we're in, we're in some ground. Awesome, and we've blown up. Great landing, great landing. All right, well, this next guy is a little bit of a helicopter, so we'll try. We, we know how to drive a plane now. That's not a very good start for the helicopter, spotting him, like, in the ground like that. Okay, is this the pilot seat? Is this the... No, I don't think this is the right pilot seat. The pilot seat back here. Okay, here we go. We're in it. Um. Oh, crap. We're out of fuel. How are you flying? We're flying without fuel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe it doesn't need fuel since we're in, like, cheat cheaty mode. Uh, but we'll give it some. We don't have missiles. I don't know what missiles it takes, um, but we do have this gunner ammo. It says it's for this plane. All right, so we're gonna give it some some ammo for its guns. These This says driver's gun one and gun two. I don't know what that means or what that's going to do, but we're gonna try to take off here. Okay, okay, are we, are we ready? Are we ready, are we heading upwards? Go, 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 go. Okay, are we off? Oh, look at us go. Oh. oh. Oh, we're so cool. Dude. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, um, so now our only question is... Oh, no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Can we do a loop-de-loop -loop in a helicopter? I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try to... <laughs> Everybody's like, no, it's not possible, you idiot. Why, <laughs> why are you trying to do that? We're going to have to pick up some speed here. I, I think it is. We can do a loop-de-loop. -loop. All right, well, it's a beautiful day. It's a nice... It's a nice sunset. We're gonna try to, we're gonna try to do the loop-de-loop. -loop. Come on, come on, come on, yes, yes, I think so. No, no, I don't think so. We're in water right now. We're going swimming. It turned into a submarine, I think. Yes, yes, it did turn into a submarine. And perfect loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> How did it let me do that? <laughs> and I damaged 2% of my core. Okay, wow, that was, um, I just turned this thing into a submarine for a moment, but we're still, we're still good to go. Okay, we're gonna test if our parachutes work here real quick, so we'll just, um, come out into this open field. Are you ready to jump off? Oh man, oh man, and parachute, awesome! Awesome, it works. 
Look at us, and look at our awesome landing. Well guys, that is hopefully a little bit of a sense of what you could be experiencing in Flans Mod. Obviously this episode, I was just trying to test everything out and see how it actually works. Um, I actually want this little bit of a minigun right now, because I really want to see. There's explosive minigun ammo, of course. Of course. I was like, hey, why would they add a minigun without adding explosive minigun ammo? But yeah, hopefully you all have enjoyed. This is sort of what Warzone is like. You know, it's us messing around with giant miniguns and explosives in Minecraft. And then um, as the series starts and progresses, hopefully we'll move on to, uh, to building bases and sort of, you know, coming up with war strategies of the sorts and like plans like that. And just, I don't know. I don't know, dude. We'll be experimenting with guns in Minecraft. Oh my god, that sheep just went flying, and I have a minigun that shoots out explosive ammo. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this game. <laughs> what am I even doing right now? I'm sorry, sheepies. I'm sorry. It just... Oh no! They just, like, get sent off to another world. So yeah, hope you all have enjoyed. Obviously, the sheeps haven't enjoyed this episode too much because they just keep getting launched into the air. Oh my gosh, but yeah, my name's Kroom. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you'll be seeing some more episodes of Warism out here soon, and be sure to check out the mod pack down in the description. Also, we are looking um, to add in a bunch of more mods to this thing, so if you guys have any recommendations for like war mods you want to see added into the pack and that we can mess around with, uh, feel free to leave those down below as well. But other than that, my name is Crew. I have a minigun, and I'll see you guys later. Adios. I want the one, two, three. With some of my friends, Elliot from the Crewcraft servers on here as well. He's not He's not in the call, he's just- Oh, he's bleeding! You're bleeding! What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, this is a mod pack. If you guys don't like mod packs, I apologize. Um, but this is a really fun one, and we're gonna be explaining it. Uh, so the name of the mod pack is Warism. It was actually made by my one friend,